Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. So today I'm going to be going over a deadlift progression that I use for all of my teams, whether it's men's and women's golf, baseball guys, or football guys, because I'm a big believer that a strong posterior chain is the only true way to gain. And this video touches on pulling from the deck to the knee and an RDL from the hip to the knee. So we're working from the bottom up and then from the top down. And it's a great way to teach a flat back, neutral spine, and great way to make sure that the bar stays close to the body and gets up and down in a straight line. So thanks for watching this. Hope you can take something from it and stay strong. So I want to start by saying that you can use these exercises as a progression or regression for your athletes or yourself as a lifter. So as you can see in the video here, it's, it's a very short range of motion exercise and it starts from pulling from the floor just to the kneecap and then back down. When I coach athletes, I like to make sure that they're all on my watch so they make sure that we're all on the same page. So what I'll do is I'll give the cues of pull, one, two, and then down so that they're all doing the same time under tension. And then from there, I can just go around and coach in each individual as I need be. So it's a very short range of motion. The bar stays against the shin as it goes up and down in a straight line. Then as we get to a side angle, you can see that my hips and my shoulders are coming up at the same time. I'm avoiding my butt flaring up in the air and straightening my legs at the same time. And then as it starts to slow down here, you can really notice that the bar path goes straight up and down as well. My shin is in a slightly positive angle. It's not out front like over my toes, but it's not in a straight up and down angle either. Because when you pull from the floor, you want to activate and use the quads to pull to the knee and then from the knee up is when you uh, use all your hips and glutes to do the extension. And then as it speeds up you can see that I uh, utilize the pause here again and again this is something that you can do as a coach to make sure that your athletes are all on the same page with you. The next exercise will be a superset with the first exercise you just saw. So the next exercise is an RDL. A lot of coaches and a lot of people know what this exercise is already but now we're starting from the top and going to the kneecap. So this is essentially the end point for the deadlift from the floor, but now we're working top down. And the keys here are to make sure that the first thing that happens is your hips go back. You don't want to bend and squat into this exercise. You want to push your hips back, keep the bar against your thighs as it goes down, and get to the mid or top point of the knee, and then pull it back into the thighs, keeping it against your legs, and extending the hips on the way up. The cadence I typically use for this is real simple. It's just down, one, two, up, and then just making sure obviously that their shoulders are pulled back and that their back is flat in a neutral position. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Remember, posterior chain is the only way to gain. Stay strong.